We are grateful to be here and it is because of that gratitude and love we are shown from our ancestors having been provided with a culture to uphold and a responsibility to maintain. For our future generations and for our ancestors, we are the bridge between them. What are we going to pass on to them? What will our culture mean if it isn't connected to our living environment that we are all come from? Every one of our clans and tribes genetically connects us to our ancestors, whether that be a whale, an eagle, a grizzly bear. Those are our kin. We were raised amongst our environment, alongside with each other. We can, they can't speak for themselves, that's why we're here. We're their ambassadors. You see our, their crests on our blankets. Our brother Ernest hasn't been into the big house because he wants to support our fish farms. He doesn't want to support our fish farms. <laughs> <laughs> Test, <laughs> testing you guys. <laughs> Where were you? <ya? laughs> supports our wild salmon. He wants to kick our fish farms out, as we all know. And let's give him a round of applause. They like fish With all these cameras, you get a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to an audience fight. here, yeah. trying That's to have an organic to say, right? thing. Support the fish farm fight. Yeah. Support the fish farm fight. Yeah. Well, well, I haven't had any coffee yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to uh, again uh, thank everybody for coming, my, my brother, uh, for holding space here in the city. And uh, he's, he's our brother and he stands with our young women who are on the front line, for our, who are standing up for what is right. Our ancestors, we're not just we're not just here because we like fish. I keep saying that. It's in our DNA. It's who we are. Our ancestors our ancestors are buried in these properties, in these lands that we come from. And so when we say get the fish farms out, we have that authority. We have the say. And that it's time the NDP pays attention. We're getting a little tired of waiting for this announcement. Ah, We're getting oh, a little tired yeah, yeah. of waiting for a decision to be made. Who are they going to reconcile with? Are they going to reconcile with these foreign industries or reconcile with the First Nations people who call this place home? First Nations. Here, here. So I uh, really appreciate all of you for coming and supporting what we've been saying for over 160 days. Uh, get the fish farms out, reconcile with First Nations and do the right thing. DFO, I want you fired. Do your Don't job. Do yeah, your job or get out. Because yeah. we are the new DFO. We also want to recognize that we've never signed a treaty with Canada. Yeah. We don't recognize them as a nation holding sovereignty or any land or resources. They're in fact a paper corporation claiming our land and resources that affects our living lives. Not dead corporations wanting money and profit and gain. So we're here to keep the abundance and wealth of our ancestors for our future grandchildren. We have to live off of their food upon a dependency that they created. No different than what they did with the buffalo and the plains. Now they're doing it here on the coast for our salmon. They want to starve us so we're poor. They want to starve us so we're dependent upon genetically modified foods. So then they could take the cancer off the back pay when we go to them telling them we're sick from all the food they're giving us. Anything with mucus, candida is causing disease to our people. And yet in all of our villages, that's all the main source of food. Milk, pop, sugar, bread. These things are killing us and they're killing our salmon. They like Kashlaki. They like Kashlaki.